Battle of Gettysburg, there were 50,000 casualties in that battle on both sides. 50,000 soldiers were killed or wounded or captured during that three-day ordeal, as we know as the Battle of Gettysburg. I don't think we really understand what 50,000 people is, but how many people live in Warland? You know, about five, so ten times the population of Warland uh, killed in this battle. Tremendous loss of life. Well, this is where we'll begin today by telling you exactly what the town of Gettysburg looked like after the battle. Because remember, the battle was fought on the outskirts, in through the city, the town, and in the other side. So there was a fighting all the way around. And the town was basically burned and in ruins. There wasn't much left of Gettysburg. And Gettysburg was a very prosperous, prosperous town. It actually had two colleges at the time of the battle. And one's still there. Gettysburg College is still there today. But it had two colleges. It was a very prosperous town. And basically it was burnt and in ruins at the end of the Battle of Gettysburg. Those farming fields like the one that that resulted in Pickett's Charge that were once full of great crops and great profit we were all ruined. All the fields in the surrounding area of Gettysburg, the crops were destroyed. So the tremendous loss of income as well in the Battle of Gettysburg. And if you can picture this in your mind, they estimated that there were the corpses of around 10,000 men that littered the streets of Gettysburg. So you can imagine if Warland was the Battle of Warland, all of a sudden you walk through Warland and you see the bodies of 10,000 soldiers laying dead in your town. It would be quite a gruesome sight. Quite a gruesome sight. So the town of Gettysburg was devastated by this battle. Now, in, th in, in thinking philosophically and strategically, what did General Meade fail to do that really disappointed Lincoln after Pickett's retreat? Anybody want to guess on that? What did Lincoln think Meade should have done, which he did not? Exactly. That's right. He thought he should have, should have pursued Lee's troops all the way back to where? Richmond. And capture the Confederate capital and end the war. And Meade in, instead chose to stay and care for his wounded, which probably was a good thing. But again, Lincoln was very disappointed on the lack of initiative by his commanders to go forth and take the battle to Richmond. And this is what Lincoln was later quoted as saying. You don't have to write it down, just listen. But he said, Our army held the war in the hollow of our hand, and they would not close it. Still, I am very grateful to Meade for the great service he did at Gettysburg. Because he did repel a Confederate assault that would have ended the war in the favor of the South if they would have won <clears throat> well, because of the tremendous loss of life, just four months after the Battle of Gettysburg, on November 19th of 1863, President Lincoln gave a brief and moving speech at the location of this devastating battle. So again, on November 19th, 1863, just four months after the Battle of Gettysburg, President Lincoln gave a brief and moving speech at the location of this devastating battle. And why he was given a speech is they were making Gettysburg a national cemetery, a national monument cemetery in honor of those that had fallen on both sides. And his speech was kind of the highlight of that dedication of those grounds at Gettysburg as a national cemetery. And President Lincoln's famous speech will go down in American history, as you're well aware of, as the Gettysburg Address, which you have a copy of. So, anyway, on November 19, 1863, four months after the Battle of Gettysburg, President Lincoln gave a brief and moving speech at the location of this devastating battle. His speech would be for the dedication of a national cemetery at Gettysburg, and his famous speech would go down to American history as the Gettysburg Address. And I think you've all heard since elementary, four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created. First paragraph. Okay. Anybody here, by the way, been to Gettysburg? I had two in the other class that had been there. Anybody in here been to the Gettysburg National Monument? 
pretty cool. I've never been there. I hear a lot of things about it. I think it's it's kind of like Fort Phil Kearney, which we'll talk about once we get into Native Americans. It's not anything there but a vast battlefield in your imagination after learning about the battle is the key to it. Uh, but anyway, we'll finish that up. We will go on to the Battle of Vicksburg tomorrow. But in the meantime, here's kind of the deal. We're going to watch this video. It's very, very good. One of the best I've ever seen on the Battle of Gettysburg. I don't think we'll get all the way through it today, but I think we'll get through phase two of Lee's plan for the third day. And I want you to pay close attention and make sure you have the things down in the notes. And then I'm going to make somebody responsible in here. I'm going to pick uh, Jonathan, because he's a new student in here, to remind me that when we have our test Monday, that if you write down two things that I did not tell you, uh, that come up in the video that we'll give you extra credit for those. So Jonathan, you got to remind me. I was, my intention was to do that last time. They forgot, and I think I can't remember. Somebody wrote some stuff on the back. I remember who it was? But anyway, just remind me. So make sure that you kind of get an idea of some things I didn't tell you. This is pretty straightforward down the line, and the information's good. And what I like about this video is you'll see. You know, when you hear it, it's one. Thing. When you see it, it'll make more sense than what we're talking about, especially the map part of it. As good as my map was, the one they're going to show you is going to be much, much better. Okay? So anyway, that's just what we'll finish with today.